YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tapes here, and today we're gonna to be breaking down how I turn this into this. If you guys want to get the paper to use in this tutorial, it'll be linked in the description below. It was made by my friend Brian Damata. It's a super dope paper pack. All right, so without further ado, we're going to open up the paper pack here. So what we're going to do to start off is you're going to pick three different paper elements that you guys like. You can do more than three, but I think three is the perfect amount for me. I'm going to go with these three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go three frames and then we're gonna cut them down. And then we're just gonna rotate going from one to one. Now, if you guys want, you can have them zoomed in like this. Totally up to you, but I'm just gonna zoom these ones out for the sake of the video. So just going one by one, I'm gonna rotate it and then make it fill the full frame, just like so. Just move it to your liking. I like that one like that. This one like this. I'm gonna have it zoomed in quite a bit. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we are going to duplicate that for the rest of the video. And if it goes over in the end, just chop it off. Then we're gonna highlight all of them and nest them. Once they're nested, you wanna go over to opacity. Now you guys can go through and pick the look you like the most. As you can see, as I go down here, you're gonna get different looks. This one's the most photorealistic for it to look like it's on paper. But if you wanna follow the tutorial, I really like the way vivid light looks. It looks kinda weird at first, but once you guys turn it up a little bit, it'll look a lot better. So that's what we're gonna do here. All right, so we're gonna nest these bottom clips here, and then we're gonna go over to low metric color and just tune them up a bit. So as you can see here, we're gonna blast the highlights just to bring out his face, blast the whites, turn down the contrast, up the saturation a bit and then i think that's good there and then you guys can play with the temperature if you want see how it's crazy orange there turn it down and then make it green i like the green look on this footage to be honest with you and there you go if you guys want to add an even cooler look to this as you can see on this one it has a little bit of a glow to it so i'll turn that on and off for you guys there i really like this look it's actually my vintage glow preset that i'll have linked in the description below so the way you guys want to use it is you want to drag this clip up just like so i'm actually going to add a little bit more green to that there so you just want to duplicate your clip just by holding alt and dragging up just like i'm doing there go over to effects and drag and drop the vintage glow in the top layer and boom as you guys can see that's quite a bit and if you think it's a little bit too much glow i recommend going and turning down the opacity and when you guys turn down the opacity you guys can fine tune it to the way you like there we go and if you guys want to go in between frames below here what you can actually do is find the cuts just like so go over to adjustment layer i'm just gonna let you guys know now this is optional go over to an adjustment layer make it make it four frames and then we can go and throw on our fast movement effects which is another preset i have in the description below put on faster movement one and then faster movement two for this one let's see how this looks or you guys can put it above the paper rips, it's up to you. Kind of like it below. And if you guys wanted to add the glow to the paper rips as well, drag and drop vintage glow on. I don't really know if I like the way it looks. If you guys like this look, totally up to you. I think it's a little bit too much glow, so I'm just gonna turn it off for this. And then the last and final look that I highly recommend for you guys is if you guys have grain, throw it on top of this. It really adds to the look. I'm gonna zoom in it a little bit and then put it on overlay or you guys can zoom it out. Totally up to you of how grainy you want it to be. If you guys are looking to get any of the presets or packs used in this video, they'll be linked in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, I highly recommend checking out our last video alongside a playlist of a bunch of other editing tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.